Jessie from The Lonely Ears, and this is a rig rundown of my setup for The Lonely Ears. This guitar has been my recent guitar, which is a Gretchen. Hold on, I need to tell the whole name. It's a Gretchen Guitar Streamliner Center Block Jr. First side, I fell in love. I was like, I gotta have it. Um, yeah, this is. I've been playing this one most likely for all the shows now, since it's like one of my favorites. Some of my guitars get jealous, but it's okay. Um, and this here is the amplifier I like to use. It's my combo amp, the Bergura. Is that what I say right? Bergura. Or this is Bergera. <laughs> Anyways, um, I always like to leave this amplifier clean because then I have the pedals to do all the other stuff that I need. But um, yeah, I try to make it sound like. That's my sister. Oh, she, she has the bass. She can do all that whole bassy thing. Like I don't like to have that on my my guitars. Or I always leave that clean here, and it's been it's a really good amp. I really love it. Everyone else likes it, and I really recommend it. It wasn't that expensive, but with my pedals, it's not much. <laughs> I like to just be simple. I mean, I would love to do other things, but that's just too much work. I can't do. So I just have the polytune which is to my guitars, um, the nice, bigger, expensive one. And then I have the MXR, which is um, the super badass one. I like the name, super badass, because I like to think of myself as a super badass. For the Gretchen one... Then when I put it to pun or distortion, it's gonna be like this. I probably might get into more uh, pedals in the future, just now. I don't, I don't know. Anyways. And I also have different guitars that I like to use sometimes. This here was is is a Fender Telecaster. It was my first guitar that my dad got me. Um, it's very punkish, <laughs> and I like to use this when it's like a really punk show, and I don't know, just try to be punk as fuck, you know. But yeah, it still works. So it's uh, it's, it has those moments where it's like messed up, but it still works. This guitar has a more deeper, um, well, can have more deeper distortion than the Gretchen one. Okay. Now that I'm realizing all these things. <laughs> this is my very small miniature guitar. Uh, X A X L. I got this before I went on tour, and I really needed a small guitar because I just couldn't be a big one playing in the bus. But um, my string is broken. This is really nice sound. It doesn't sound crappy. It was like 200 bucks, but it's very worth it, small, and it's pretty good, like, I recommend it, uh, yeah, AXL guitars, I got it in Astoria, so, it's pretty good, this one is my Epiphone Les Paul, as you can see, I fucked it up real bad, but I'm gonna fix it, because this is a really nice guitar, <laughs> and I usually use this for hardcore, hardcore, like, music, or, like, my own personal stuff, or the other band that I was in, but... I like to still use this for the long years, once in a blue moon, but not all the time. Not like the other ones. But <laughs> I usually, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's all I got. Oh. 
This is my hardcore guitar. I don't really do much with it, but I still use it, I guess, for the moment or something. Well, this one, my dad found it in the garbage, and I still don't know what to do. It's an Ibanez, but I still haven't, I just haven't tried it. I haven't tried to see if it works yet. But I don't know, I don't like that guitar. And this one's just my acoustic Yamaha. Oh no, actually, oh shit, it's a Fender Starcaster. I used to have a Yamaha. But yeah, this is my acoustic one. Well, I also have another one with a hollow body guitar. Hold on, let me that. This guitar I use all the time. This is my practice guitar. I use it for acoustic shows, but usually always my practice because you can just play it and hear it. So it's loud. I don't have to use an amplifier or anything like that. And yeah, I like this one a lot. It reminds me of Roy Orbison. So yeah, even as pretty good. Probably have to get my guitar set up, but yeah, that is it. So. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope you get to learn something because you can be as simple as you want to be and still sound great.